Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the Redka Triathlon. It's first triathlon for since the April and it's my first sea swim triathlon so fingers crossed here we go. Right, quick equipment check for us. Right, we've got our helmet. Uh, coconut water to give us a boost on the run stroke bike. Uh, lube which if you put it around your wrists and uh, ankles your wetsuit comes off quicker and put it around your neck so your wetsuit doesn't chafe get a lot of chafage uh, race belt uh, it's quicker than having to pin your number on your, your suit a uh, couple of gels a bottle uh, We've got the goggles, nose clip and earplugs in there. I always wear the um, earplugs and nose clip because I don't like getting water in my holes. <laughs> uh, bit of shower gel, the towel to stamp your feet on to try and get some sand off. Uh, all important wetsuit, trainers and that's what I'll be using today. Uh, it's a Cervelo S5 with DI2 shifters. Bit expensive, but uh, you gotta treat yourself now and again. Nope. There's Pete in transition, getting his stuff ready, putting his helmet on his um, bike. Hi everyone, Pete's uh, here putting his wetsuit on, and we'll it's, try and point the camera at him. It's looking very choppy out there, I'm not gonna enjoy this at all. So it's quite windy, hopefully, the wind isn't distorting the um sound too much let's watch him struggle to put his wetsuit on and we've just seen his uncle jeff he's in it as well so i'll try and get some footage of jeff so are you scared peter petrified petrified stupefied what film's that from i don't know <laughs> it's got brad pitt in is it <laughs> yeah i can't think what it is so one of the swim boys is over there, I think the start line's somewhere around here. Take your pick, where is it? Dunno. Uh, you come back out over come there. Over there. Get on your bike. So what, um, what, what are you going to be confident at on this? Uh, hopefully the bike will be the best bit. Uh, the run, we did a park run yesterday. Uh, I haven't got my run legs to with me today, but we'll see what happens. And the swim is going to be terrible. It won't be, you need to be positive, definitely. Nice pink one. <laughs> Pretty in pink. Pete's just uh, getting acquainted with the water and he's whinging like mad about how choppy it is. It's oh. going to be freezing and look at the state of it. We start somewhere over there, and then we swim to that boy there, swim to that boy there, and they come in and there's some little flags there. I mean, when we get out the water, we've got to run about, what, three miles to the, uh, <laughs> to the transition one? Yeah, not an exaggeration at all, Peter. What is it? Swim, run, bike or something? So, pro tip for your ear. Uh, this is shower gel. If you put the shower gel in, inside the goggles and make sure all the parts of the um, lens are covered in the shower gel, and then rinse it out, uh, they never steam up. So, there's a good one for you. Right. I love how all the men are wearing pink caps, I think it's hilarious. Get his socks on. Come on, Stiggy. I'm glad to be alive. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Come Pete. Wait to the line, Pete. Come on, Stiggy. Come on. Come on, Stiggy. Get going. Hi, Graham. Oh, it's 
lost his group. Boris in front of them. Well done. Let's be, yeah, let's be optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your gels? Oh, stinky. Come on, last couple of hours. How have you pulled it? Carry on. <laughs> what a trooper! <gasps> He's such a trooper, bless him. Just um, to let you know, well, why we've been so silent on the channel is, um, well, we've been doing lots of house renovations. And um, we actually decided to defer Ryan Man Bolton this year, and we're doing it next year now because, um, well, we were both injured basically last year. Um, Pete had a knee niggle, and then I had a hip niggle, which both are fine. But obviously now it looks like Pete's got a calf niggle, so we shall see. Here he comes. He looks like he's dying. He's got his boobs out. Come on, Stinky! Well done. <laughs> Two, more. Two to go. Is it three laps? No, I don't know. How are you? How are you feeling? Yeah. How are you feeling? Come on, Stinky! Well That's it. Lots of encouragement as we make our way across the finishing line. Right, quick debrief for you guys. Uh, the swim today was supposed to be 750 meters, but it turned out to be about 1,300 yards or something like that. So it was way longer than I thought. Very choppy. Uh, every time I was swimming, trying to sight the boys, uh, you had to wait for the waves to go down before you could see the boy. But everyone had that problem, so I can't really complain. Uh, but felt like I was going to drown a few times. I was all right. Uh, came out the swim, jumped on the bike, got in a decent group. Uh, but on one of the roundabouts, some slow people cut in front of me, and the group I was with left me. So uh, maybe that's something I've got to work on, like vocalising. I'm coming through, but everyone has to be on the course at the same time. So can't really uh, complain about that. Uh, the bike course was a lot longer than I thought it would be. It was like half a mile longer, um, which is half a mile longer for everyone else, though, isn't it? So I got on the run and got a massive cramp in the back of my um, calf, uh, but ran through it. Uh, it eased itself off, but all in all, really good race. Got one hour 20. I was going for one hour 15, uh, but because... The run was longer, the bike was longer. I mean, the run was another 0.19 of a mile longer than the 5K. Um, and the bike was 13 miles instead of 12 and a half miles. So there's your extra five minutes there. Uh, the sw swim was choppy and longer. So can't really complain, really good day, really enjoyed it. It was a European qualifier, so there was a lot of fast people there. Uh, but like I say, nice day, nice weather, warm water, can't complain, excellent day. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.